So TJ is back by popular demand this time for a full in-depth driver fitting off the back of he was our tester for the 2024 low spin driver head to head where we put QI10 LS, Dark Speed LS and Callaway AI Smoke Triple Diamond head to head to see how they compare. But before we keep going, we're creeping our way to 20K. So we really need your help to try and get there. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love you forever. If you could just go down, hit that subscribe button, help us get to 20K. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, he's back for a full in-depth driver fit in off the back of the last video where obviously we're gonna go through loads of different heads, different weights, different shafts. You know how we do it on this channel with actually a little bit of an unexpected outcome based off the last video we did with him. So stay tuned to the very end. Enjoy the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Right, he's back. TJ. Bonjour. Time for a driver fit in which you were asking for off the back of the last video, which we did a uh, comparison, didn't we? Comparison of the low spin drivers, uh, QI10 LS, Triple Diamond, uh, and Dark Speed LS. Yep. So today, actually dialing you in properly because you broke your driver, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> what a lonely driver. <laughs> Too much ball speed. So it did have LTDX LS, which we hit in that previous video. Now we've got a borrowed driver from your mate, which is... Yep. TSI 3, 9 degree, set D1, so that's down 0.75 in loft. D0 swing weight, so still very light. Your Cobra was very light. Um, 44.75 inches, so a bit short. And the Hulk, the Hulk shaft. Nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's pretty short, it's pretty light, and it's playing unbelievably stiff, because that's the TX as well. So, um, miss a little bit of spinny right? Yeah, miss spinny right. Um, okay. I don't mind seeing it. It's, it's okay. It's playable on the course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just want to knock the spin down. So you want to see yeah. you want to see a fade, don't you? Really? I want to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you want to knock the spin down and maybe just try and take the right out of play a little bit, but you don't really want to see the left, do we? No. No. Cool. Come in. Set baseline set. See what this does at least. Sounded really good. Yeah, good hit, bit high. She... Fairway. I mean, perfect drive for this. Perfect drive for this hole. And I mean, in all fairness, that's not a bad strike, is it? Like, marginally, marginally healed, but pretty good. Decent efficiency at 143. 17 launch, 3,500 backspin. <laughs> yeah, so again, from swinging 116 mile an hour, 269 carry is not the one. Okay. That is not good. At least, uh, at least the strike's better than last time. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. That again, sounded good. Yeah. Just hanging back a touch. It's just, yeah. So spinny, isn't it? Like, so spinny. Yeah. I know that's a leaky right, so it's going to spin more, but that looked ridiculous. Again, because it's not a terrible strike. All right, yeah, we hung the face open. That's 4,385 backspin. That is a lot. Crazy. Full speed's all right, 165. Okay, starting a bit further left, so should be slightly better numbers. Yep, 277 carry. Okay. Yeah, very consistent strike, mate. Just spin. It's a pretty open book. Start, start fresh, because I know you like the QI10 LS, don't you? Which I actually don't think would be a bad driver for you, because mm -hmm. it's mega low spin. Yep. Dark speed LS, mega low spin. And triple diamond as well, probably not quite as low spin, but we'll have a dabble throughout. Yeah, I'm open to all. So yeah, new Venice Blue 6X. Dark speed LS, eight degree, set upright, 12 gram weight in the heel, 45 and a quarter, D2.5. Let's give it a hit. I mean, again, like it's, it's a great, it's a good drive. <laughs> it's just also very spinny. It was a good hit. Yeah. Just, yeah, very high. It sounded, it sounded good, you know? Again, basically exactly the same, um, Exactly the same spot, slightly mm. out of the heel. Um, loads of spin, all right, okay. This could be uh, more of a challenge than I first thought. A 
Again, I mean, it's a perfect shape. Perfect shape. Go. Okay, let me just make a little tweak to that, mate, quickly. Theoretically, this shouldn't be a good tweak. So what I've done is I've turned it down to seven, which is gonna open the face a little bit, and I've moved the 12 gram weight into the toe. So theoretically, it's now more right side bias. Okay. Let's see what it does. That sounded better. That was good. It. Yeah, we go. It's a bit better, mate. Felt centre to me. <laughs> so probably slightly heel. <clears throat> no, it's good. There okay. we go. Very nice. Yeah, nice, mate. That looked better. Much better flight. Yeah. Three hundred carry. Boom. It's got to be a little toe bias there. <laughs> Is that a little bit? Oh, that's good, Ooh. mate. Really good. Really nice. Interesting. So now we're starting to find the middle a little bit, which is what we want. Very good. Good numbers. 14 launch, 24, 2500 backspin there, 300 carry. Beautiful. What do you think about the way that it feels? Do you think it feels more stable when you're swinging versus when to you're using your. To be fair, I didn't even think about it. So it no. must be a good thing. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it feels, yeah, it feels good, it feels solid. Okay, uh, nice. Obviously the head looks good. Uh, then the shaft, yeah, like you said, it's more, you know, it feels flexy, but when you hit it, Doesn't. it stiffens up. Yeah. Ooh. Healy. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, just not loving the sort of strike consistency on this one. Even with your driver, which is not your driver, the strike was at least consistent. This is yeah. just not quite, not quite giving us that strike consistency. Yeah, not quite there, is it, mate? I'd say the head's got potential because when you did it that good one earlier with the right strike, it gave us pretty good numbers and that sort of 300 carry. Yeah. But maybe not with that shaft. Okay. She's out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point actually. That is basically saw Tiger was set up, isn't it? So I think that's the VF6X. I'm pretty sure he was in the 6X, not the TX. Mm. And QI10 LS, eight degree upright sleeve setting, just weight neutral. But yeah, same length as the Cobra was playing, um, but D6 swing weight that now. Obviously the head weights are generally a little bit heavier than Taylor made, but the, when I swung like that, it did surprise me how heavy that is. Can you feel like the extra weight there in the head of it? Yeah, compared to Cobra just hit, yeah, definitely yeah. a bit heavier. Yeah, okay. Not majorly though, Not, nothing major. That was better. How'd that strike feel? Came out, it looked like it came out sort of lower and more forward. I'm going to say Healy, but I've... A bit low? Ish. Nothing to... Yeah, low. Low heel. It's interesting, completely changed the strike, hasn't it? I mean, still Healy, but low. Yeah. Again, Healy. Just see it through impact. <laughs> it's really Healy. Don't love this straight away. I think that's a swing weight, if I'm honest. I think it's just too heavy. And it's actually not surprising. I, I see this quite a lot with tailor-made drivers, especially. Yeah. I don't know if it's geometrically because like the logo is a little bit into the heel or there's something in the CG mm. of the head. I see it all the time. Like give someone a tailor-made driver and they just start hitting it straight out of the neck, which for you is not what we want. No, I'll miss the ball. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's just hit me out the hill, basically. So. Yeah, don't love this setup straight away, mate. I think we can, uh, I think you can safely, yeah, every single one of those is low, low heel. Don't like it at all. I think we can safely leave this. So I know you quite like the head, uh, so we'll give it another go. So still sticking with the LS8 degree upright. One of their stock shafts, that is the AV Black 65X, cut it down a bit to the same length as the TSI, so 44.75. It's now swing weight in a D3, which is 
probably a little bit more manageable. So, okay. let's see if this helps. It's still here, do you want it? Still Healy, maybe the QI10 is not the driver for you, mate. It's literally a hill magnet. It is, it honestly, generally like tailor-made drivers can be for some people. Mm. Again, it's okay. Yeah, it just, just seems to move a lot. It does want to move, doesn't it? It does want to move. And again, that's only, Really, the delivery there is actually pretty damn good. Like four eight out to in, fine for a little fade. Don't mind that. Face one point five open to the path, great, really good. Tiny bit healy, but it's not horrendous. Mm. And that's that's really moved. That's had had over a thousand revs of right spin on it, so it's, that's really curving. Like, not loving the idea of this head for you, if I'm honest. Okay. Yeah, it's just necky in it straight away. No. Again, I think we definitely preferred the dark speed head for you, 100%, maybe with a little bit of a different shaft matchup, but I'm not liking that head. Okay. Yeah, again, that was a decent strike, just, it's just gone miles right, isn't it? Don't know if you'd agree with me, but... I do, no, I do agree, yeah. Yeah. But... So, Ooh. yeah, a bit lighter, but stable. The TR Black 5X, so I think that could be quite a good matchup. Um, okay. And yeah, even though it's quite a low spin head, the triple diamond, it's not mega low. It's not generally as low from what I've seen as the QI10 and the dark speed. It tends to be less right biased than those heads, which I think could be quite good for you. So okay. let's see. Okay, I want to say that was slightly out of heel. Was it? Yeah, it didn't feel too bad. Maybe not, maybe it was just high. But again, instantly, like the amount of a less curve from left to right on that, even off camera, you were hitting more with that, um, yeah, slightly Healy. Yeah. Uh, you were hitting more with the QI10, like when we stopped the camera, and it, just the amount of left to right curve was loads, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Straight away, you hit that on the neck, and that actually looks like a nice little baby fade. Yeah. Just spin, 3 1. Again, nice, nice little fade. Nice. Good directionally straight off the bat, it's way, way better, like a million times better, isn't it? Start line's much better, yeah. Much better and curving way less. It's still giving us a nice little fade, but it's curving way less. Just again, spinning. I mean, yeah, good, nice little fade, three down there so far, beautiful. Again, just spinning that bit too much, which is exactly what I thought about this head would do. It's not as low spin as the others, yeah. but it'll probably be straighter. So again, it's always that question of, well, do we give up a little bit of yardage for keeping it in the fairway a little bit more? Yep. A lot of people will probably argue yes, but <laughs> <laughs> I still reckon I the Cobra could be a little sneaky, sneaky summit in there later, we'll see. Yeah, lovely, mate. I'm loving this. Um, kind of directional. Yeah, starting straighter as it, well. That's 290 carry. I mean, this is like instantly, instantly miles better than the Taylor made. Yeah, and that was even still a tiny bit low, tiny bit in the heel, but again, the strike's starting to dot, it's starting to become more consistent, which we like. Mm -hmm. The last two spinning at about 28, so a little bit higher than we want, but not bad. And yeah, I mean, all of them, all straight down the middle. How does that feel, that kind of shaft, that combo? Yeah, I like the shaft. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I had one a few years ago. I think it was, a, it was too heavy, it was like a 7X. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I remember that. Actually. I think yeah. I remember, yeah. But yeah, no, I like the stability, how it feels, it feels strong. Yeah. Um, I think light but stable is quite good for you in terms of the shaft, and then mm -hmm. just getting the swing weight, swing weight right to dial in strike and direction. Launched a little high, but 290 carry again, mate. Very good. So far, this is standing out as my... It's a bit day and night, isn't it? Yeah, my, yeah 100%. My favourite combo. Again, mm. good strike. Even slightly out of toe, mate. Woo! There we go. Tick for the toe. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's so... I mean, arguably, we could try turning this down. 
you know, because what yes, we know it's spinning a little bit too much, yeah. but we're not losing it right. So maybe have that ability, crank it down to seven, see if we can knock a couple hundred revs of spin off. Mm -hmm. Right, that's been like the biggest ride we've lost it so far and it's still in the fairway. Yeah. That almost 280 carry. Not going to grumble at that. Yeah. I am liking this one, mate. Okay, let me uh, try turning on that loft. Sounds good. Same combo turned down to seven degrees. Sounded a little hard on the face. Yeah, it felt toey to me, but I don't probably means middle then, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. high middle. <laughs> now you have had a couple of toe strikes today, to be fair. Yeah, like tiny, tiny bit high toe. That's great. It's really good. Love it. Great delivery. Lovely little fade. Uh, Two ninety one carry. Yeah, I'm definitely really liking this combo. Yeah, really good, mate. Just. Really good, this thing for you. I look up hit. Love hit it. So many fairways. I know. I haven't seen you hit so many fairways. <laughs> the amount of editing, I don't want to say anything, but the amount of editing I had to do on the last video, do you know what I mean? Taking I'm not shots out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is really good, mate. Really good. So I think we'll hit a couple more with this. I'm really happy with where it's at so far. I really want to try the Cobra head on that, uh, that shaft as well. Okay. Yeah, fine. Just held its line. Didn't quite come back, but... Yeah. Not mad at that. No, that's no, fine. Yeah, it's starting to dot more around the middle, isn't it? Which is good. Mm-hmm. Again, slightly low, that one. It's still carried 288, so performing actually quite well. Yeah, it's averaging 293 carry with, uh, with those four drives so far, compared to your original driver, which was 264. <laughs> so, Damn. <laughs> yeah. Decent little jump up. Right, mate, same shaft, back into the dark, speed LS, seven degrees, so matching the AI in loft, leaving the 12 gram in the toe for now. So let's see how it compares to the old uh, AI triple diamond. Got his work cut out. It has, yeah. <laughs> We'll take that one though. <laughs> it's got yeah. its work cut out, but if it does that every time, that is probably the best drive I've seen today. Yep. Straight out of the gate. Again, fantastic strike. Really nice. Good solid. 26 spin, not too bad. Love that strike for you. That's brilliant. Perfect shot. Same again, please. Again, nice. Yep. Felt toey to me, so it's probably middle. Yeah, really <laughs> like that. Lovely, mate. Nice ball flight. Again, probably fading a fraction more than you, you, we want it to, but again, yep, love the strike. Really nice. 290 carry. Yep. Instant, instant reaction going into that from the Callaway. Looks, feel, confidence. Very similar to me, like, yeah. Um, obviously, results with the Callaway was, looked a little bit straight with the ball flight. Yeah. But these are still producing good, um, good shots as well. Yep. It's a little bit of a right miss. Uh, no, that's yeah. not too bad. It's got a little under it. Yeah, it strikes really good. I, mean, I know it's weird because. How I would categorize it, like the strike on this is super, super, super consistent. Like, love that. Mm. I think this has got a little bit more potential for a little bit more pop in it. I okay. it could go a bit further than the Callaway. Again, we'll see the data in a minute, but it doesn't quite seem as consistently straight, does it? No. Like that little fade with the Callaway was just almost on demand, on point. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas this is great, strike's probably better than this. Yep. I think more in a fairway with the Callaway. Okay. Again, like, I'm only here to advise, mate. If you want to play that, you, <laughs> you can play what you want. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. 
that's lovely. That is lovely. It's probably been two of the best drives of the day coming with that though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's just perfect. I think you could play As soon either. as I change this into this shaft, there's a lot more, there's a different... Yeah, I mean, the strike's amazing yeah. with this. Like, the strike's all dotting around the middle. Like, strike's amazing. Really good. And it's really not bad. Like, you know, there was a couple of, so a, little, a couple of little more high rights with this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. On average, it's actually kind of really coming out that the Callaway's longer. Anyway, I mean, that, that probably paints a really good picture there, in all honesty, doesn't it? So Callaway just holding down that left side a little bit more, tighter dispersion left to right, which is really what we want to see. Yep. Actually averaging more ball speed out of the Callaway. And less better, spin. Be, be, better spin, better distance, standard deviation is better on spin, on carry, you know, on ball speed, on everything. So it's more consistent. It's holding more down the left. We're not losing as many right. And on average, all the numbers are better. So, I mean, I don't think you can really grumble that, to be honest. Callaway it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have a, do you want to have a whack with the TSR, that shaft? I think it's worth a go. Uh, yeah, give it a go. Don't seem very convinced. Uh, no, I just, the Callaway looks good, I think. Hey, if, you want, if you want to leave it there, we can leave it there. Go on, give it a hit, let's give it a hit. I actually think this could be quite a good head for you. Again, similar to the Callaway, it's not mega right biased. It's not the lovest spin head out there, but eight degree turned down to seven. Okay. Might do all right. Give it a whack. Again, perfect little fade, mate. going on today mate like driving's on point I don't know, mate. either we found like a magic shaft for you or <laughs> uh, yes. tj's having a good driving day again straight back into the heel a little bit with this which i don't like compared to the yeah previous dark speed and ai smoke okay it's just like that perfect little fade on on repeat mate 290 carry best one yet Told you, know, TSR in the mix. You, yeah, you said to don't <laughs> yeah. count it out. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, all I do is spend my life in here fitting, so I should have, know a little bit about what okay. should happen. I'll but give yeah, it to again, you. I mean, it's a fantastic result. Again, I mean, all of them just lovely little fades, starting there, coming back to centre, all almost on top of each other. Two eight one average carry, three hundred total. I mean, that is pretty damn solid, isn't it? We are still eight yards down. Well, if, oh, actually, I say eight yards down. I mean, on carry-wise, that's massive. Carry-wise, we're 14 yards down at the minute on the Callaway. On the Callaway. That's surprised me, actually, looking back on that. <laughs> that's a big difference. Um, so again, direction, fantastic, but it ain't quite given us the pop that the Callaway mm. did. Hmm. Okay, let's have one or two more, mate, and then we'll just jump back into the Callaway and just... Okay. I'll make sure we're happy with that setup. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think we need to hit anymore with that, do we? Every single no. one's been perfect little fade down the middle to about 280 carry. I mean, every time it, it's got that on repeat. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Very yeah. rare what you just witnessed there. Yeah, you, <laughs> is, you, are, you are lucky because that is a rare driving clinic from TJ. Um, but yeah, I mean, fantastic, like fantastic direction. But what are we compared to? I mean, we'll jump back into the, the Callaway just to make sure. I mean, that dispersion, unfortunately, I did pick the same color. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we're still 14 yards down. I mean, it, it's more consistent. Tighter dispersion, every single one dead straight down the line. So dispersion better, consistency better. But we are 14 yards down. And the Callaway wasn't bad enough on direction for us to go yeah, let's go to the tight list and lose 14 yards of carry. Like, that's bonkers. Like, let's just jump back into the Callaway and see if it can do it again. Yeah, lovely, mate. That's the one. Really, that's such a really good ball flight. 
I really like that. Yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. So we've gone back to slightly heel stroke, which where we were probably living earlier on. Mm -hmm. but again, 145 efficiency, 13 launch, 2400 backspin, 294 carry, beautiful little fade. Like, yeah, absolutely love that. How's it feel going back into the head? Do you actually, is it, is it growing on you? Yeah, no, yeah, definitely growing on me. Um, like I said, yeah, <laughs> seeing good shots of it helps. 100%. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, the head looks good, sits good, not, not too much going on. Nice. That's good. Yeah, it's really nice. Longest of the day. Woo! Are you try to hit giving that one more? Yeah, or? No, I felt like this might. <laughs> probably not the best time to do I felt more of a release. Okay, yeah, good. I, I do preach that a lot. I like that. Um, and yeah, absolutely middled it. Completely <laughs> middled it. 171 ball speed. 15 launch, 23, 2400 backspin, 306 carry. That's, Boom. Yeah, that's the best one. Drive. That's the best drive. Best drive of the day. Yeah. yeah. No, I do. I really like this, this setup for you, mate. I mean, even the misses that we've seen when we do miss it a bit low heel, it's absolutely fine. I mean, it's got the odd left in there, but I just feel there's a couple of bad swings creeping in. I mean, if you hit 75 drives, it's going to happen. Yep. Yeah, nice, mate. You look very confident with it as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's massive. Go on, get that green. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, mate. Really solid, again, really good numbers. But yeah, 295 carry 308, exactly the same as first time around. Identical, it, yeah. Yeah, it's really good, that's really good to see. Really nice. Go on and rip one more, mate. See if we can get to that green. What is the green? 340. Well, I just probably about 340 to the front. It's a really long front to back green, isn't it? <laughs> We've almost got down there a couple of times at 332, so. <laughs> that was going for it, that one, wasn't it? Tell you what, that might get there. Go on. Big bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, mate. It's but it's good, to, good to see that <laughs> shaft can, uh, yeah, it's good strike as well. You just hit a little bit more up on it, but yeah, 175 ball, 324 carry. So it's good to see that that shaft can hold up to that as well. I mean, again, a lot of people will be worried at that speed with a five, but I have no concerns about that at all. Yeah. More than stable enough. And again, for your normal gamer swing, probably what sort of one, I mean, when you're on course, it's probably gonna be about 115 really. So yeah, yeah really, really good, mate. Very happy with that. Happy? Yeah, very happy. Didn't think of this outcome at all. No. I for Cobra, but yeah, yeah, feels good, looks good. Um, can't Happy. complain really, yeah. Absolutely. That's the best <laughs> thing about doing this though, to be honest. And I get it all the time when people come in and they're like, oh, I've got, I want that driver. But yeah. as soon as you get something else in your hand and you start hitting it well and the numbers are good and you just get confident with it, you're like, yeah, I love it. It's the best, best thing yeah. about doing this. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, and again, I did think Taylor made as well and that's, Not that's gone first few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> good, cool. But yeah, wicked, you know your stuff. <laughs> so there you go, a little bit unexpected outcome, like I said in the intro, purely based off the back of the comparison video that we did with TJ, where the Callaway was mm, maybe not showing quite as much potential as some of the other drivers, but just goes to show getting the right shaft, the right kind of overall combo, length, swing weight, head, loft, all that kind of stuff, and the confidence that it can give someone can just transform the whole club. Made it fantastic for TJ. He was loving it, I was loving it. It was great, yeah, very happy with the results. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you thought and what you want to see next. Um, we will be trying to bring you more content, I promise. It's just been really, really tricky. You've been slacking a bit, I know. Been so busy here, fully booked for much every day fitting I've been. So trying to film and edit around that's been very, very difficult, but we're trying to team up with some editors to bring you more content. So there will be more fitting content coming. We've already got some of that in the pipeline. I want to do some more comparison videos as well off the back of the ping. I know a lot of you thought it was maybe a little bit negative. It wasn't, but Want to maybe dial a, dial a set it, your setup in for me and then put it head to head against some of the other, you know, Titleist and Callaway and Darkspeed has been great this year and all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Try and get to that 20K. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.